guys are new here, my name is Kathy. I am a second year fourth grade teacher and I forget to introduce myself a lot. So hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here. This is a week in my life as a fourth grade teacher. Happy Monday, you guys. Oh, Mondays are hard, you guys, but I am officially 32 weeks pregnant. I turn a new week every Monday, so Mondays are exciting for me. That means I'm officially eight months um, so 32 weeks today crazy I'm now just starting to feel the pains of my third trimester back pain fatigue everything I've been pretty lucky with my pregnancy so far but I've definitely been feeling it a lot <laughs> All right guys, not sure where I left off this morning. It has just been a busy morning since I hadn't been here um, on Friday, but it has been a good morning so far. I would say I, for some reason, every Monday, I think that's what I was talking about, Mondays. I'm just like so exhausted, obviously, because of the weekend and just getting back into it. But I'm also like really anxious on Mondays now, I've noticed. I don't know, I guess it's like the Sunday scaries and stuff like that, and there's just like always a to-do list. So I feel like it just makes me anxious. Like right when I woke up this morning, I had all of these like things going on in my head. And I'm like, wait a minute, I literally just woke up. Like I wanna relax. So I stayed in bed for like an extra 10 minutes or so, but I'm drinking my water out of my new like Starbucks cups. I got these on sale, like a huge pack from Gerbs or something. So drink your water people. Anyway, I made a to-do list while my kids were doing their brain break. Um, I had two brain breaks this morning. I do it usually right after we're done with morning meeting and then right after we're done with writing before they go to specials, I always try to do a brain break so that they're not like wild and crazy during specials. And let me show you guys the one I really, really like. So I always use like Coach Corey Martin on YouTube, but recently I really have been loving phonics man he has so many different um videos and he like raps them um his songs are so catchy there's always would you rather there's like virtual pe stuff there's stuff for phonics obviously um but yeah i really recommend him if you guys are looking for like fun brain breaks my kids love that he raps and like his music is always super super catchy okay, today um i wrote a little to-do list which now i don't know where it went oh. Okay, so on my to-do list, I have change class jobs, so I want to do that. I need to move lunch seats because of just stuff that's going on. I need to update my parent-teacher conferences. Parent-teacher conferences are coming up really, really soon. Like the first couple of weeks of November is when we start really prepping for um, conferences. So I need to update those in um, my schedule and just make sure everyone is scheduled correctly. And then I need to check Friday folders. A lot of students brought theirs back today. And then um, we're doing raffle tickets for those pumpkins that I showed you guys in my last vlog. If you didn't see, we created pumpkins um, and that helps us just earning money for the school. So there's that, they can vote on raffle tickets. The parents will for trunk or treat, which we have this week actually. So that's why I'm vlogging this week. It's just gonna be a fun eventful week. And then I need to update some um, points for my super improver like behavior chart thing. So lots of things to do this morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with something. Also one of my students brought this in for me. I've been eating these pop tarts and I love like cereal things recently just because of the pregnancy. So he brought me this, which is so cute. Like just pop tarts. <laughs> I also sent like a math worksheet home on Friday, which I usually don't do. I don't require homework, but I added this in. This is from the superteacherworksheets.com. Um, I mentioned it in one of my other vlogs about my sub, um, how I really like this website for just finding things. This is a fourth grade, like free math worksheet. I just put it in their Friday folders for students who want like a challenge. I might start doing that every Friday, just putting math in there or something to help them just improve on their skills. So really love that. I 
I also mentioned these task cards on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, I'll add my Instagram name here. But these are a bunch of just early finisher task cards. Um, they are from resourcesforteaching.com dot a u there's so many different ones i have the fourth and fifth i also have the second and third ones for just other options but i hold them in these little like little task card containers and yeah these are just great for like early finishers obviously um writing prompts um morning meeting cards like if i said hey guys for morning work let's do a sign a flag for our school yeah they just know to pull these out whenever they are done with something or um i have free write and then i ask them to just pull their task cards if they want like an, any ideas all right guys here's my outfit of the day i'm wearing this jumpsuit this is so comfy basically like pajamas um this is from fabletics it's just like a really soft material and i just wore like a striped shirt underneath honestly like i said you guys it's whatever's comfortable and fits this is from made by maggie may on etsy instagram and just my apple watch like usual i get a lot of questions about my necklace this is from a subscription box i would just type in mama choker and you can find this anywhere and this one is from everly made you guys it's been one of those days lots of talks Whenever I feel like we're off as a class, I like to just stop and like have a class discussion on what's going on, why we're not getting work done, so we can like talk about it. Maybe there's things that's bothering them. Maybe they feel like it's too hard or they're distracted. So we like to have those talks. And so today, like for the last part, we just skipped over science because that just happens. And we ended up just talking about like why I'm frustrated, why they may be feeling frustrated, what we need to do um, to move on. Because I can't just sit there and assume that it's because they don't wanna get the work done. So we had one of those long discussions at the end of the day, but it's just like, I feel like there's just so much going on in general that's just taking up my mind too. So yeah, just a real day in the life of a teacher. Overwhelmed because there's just so much like, I mean, it's no one's fault. It's just this year has just been different. And I guess maybe like because I'm pregnant, it could be just me feeling more of it because beginning of the year I felt kind of like I had everything together but then now I feel like there's just a lot to do the to-do list never ends that kind of thing so um yeah I'm just glad I get to come on here and rant a little bit um because yeah it's just not easy there's just lots of things to do right now it's 3 15 and I'm gonna get my plans just ready for tomorrow usually I try to get it done like during plan time or when I have downtime but usually I'm rarely sitting at my desk um, during plan time like I spend my time like doing whatever I need to catch up on like my important things and if I need to plan at the end of the day I will um, and usually it's pretty easy for me because I only plan day by day and I just look at my curriculum in my book and then I just um, kind of put a little bit on the slide of what we need to do and what we need to get done and then I just use my book throughout the day but I just like having slides up just so that it kind of gives the students something to look at and then need something to look at. And I'm just going to go home and relax after. So, yeah. Just wanted to share that moment. Like, you know when you just get to your room and you're like, what was today? It's that same feeling when you get into your car and you never want to leave. You just want to sit in there for hours and just, like, zone out. Um, I even introduced prizes today. Let me show you guys. I introduced this giant bucket of prizes today. I said, if you're doing your job this whole week no reminders i usually do tallies for students i have a class list and i just do tallies and then i mark students who owe me time if i'm having to give more than three reminders a day for getting started whatever by the end of the week if they don't have any tallies or owing me extra recess they can choose one thing from this bin and they're really motivated by rewards and prizes and stuff so they're really really excited about this so that's what we've been doing. I introduced that today. It's taken me this long to introduce it because I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do first. So maybe this week will be like a trial and error type of thing where a lot of them are it or only a few of them and hopefully that motivates them. But I have like desk pets, random like Rubik's cubes, candy, books, journals, like a wide variety of things. So we'll see how it works. I'll update you guys if 
it works okay and I'm sending you guys love if you are teachers or educators student teachers paras whatever sending you guys love and just know that after this week we'll get through it after this day it's a fresh day the next day that's what I keep telling myself I just have to take, make time for myself at the end of the day so that I can come ready and in a good mood tomorrow because if I keep moping about it, it's just gonna make things worse for me and for my students. So try to come in with a good outlook every day. It's going to be quite a busy day today because um, one of our subs didn't fill in fourth grade and so we'll have a split class. And then today uh, for plan time I also have like PLC meetings which is alternating between math and ELA and we're going over bodies of evidence. So I won't even have my plan time and then after school I'm zipping straight over to my doctor's appointment. So today's going to be a busy day but I'm determined to have a good day so let's get this day started end of the day <laughs> i have not checked in with you guys all day because like i said it was just gonna be a busy day for me oh my gosh my feet have hurt all day and i don't know if it's like the arch of the burks but i had to wear my belly band today i've been wearing that lately because i am just i'm getting i feel like she's just growing every hour <laughs> feels like i'm just getting bigger and bigger and bigger but the belly band does help i just bought it recently um and it just velcros to support your belly basically i'm going to show you guys my outfit before i leave really quick jean jacket got this dress from marshall's there's the belly it's just a maxi dress like i mentioned earlier we had split classes but i swear you guys every time we have a split class which means like if we can't find a sub in another fourth grade classroom they just split up between the four the three classes that are here and there's five extra students in here but my kids and the day just goes so much smoother i don't know what it is but it's like kind of refreshing and it's actually specifically just one class the one that's that was in here the day goes better it's so strange but i'm like yay loving it been struggling a little bit with just finding differentiation for kids um, and i mentioned this last time where i know that some of my kids need accommodations hey that was awkward my team teacher came in as i was talking she's like are you talking to yourself <laughs> but anyway i was talking about just struggling on differentiating and accommodating for my students that really really need it and my struggle is that like I catch all of these students up that get it, that just need a little bit of like a boost and help and everything. And then I have those kids that refuse to do it because they don't understand it at all. And so it's almost like you have to start over and try to help them. I don't know, I've just been struggling with that. So if any teachers have any advice for me, that would be great. I've just been struggling and it makes me feel really, really guilty about it. Um, but yeah, I made this anchor chart though found it on google we just went over it like if i'm not doing it with them i make it and then we just talk about like the formula for area and then we talk about the formula for perimeter so even though i don't make it with them all the time we still go over it and then they definitely reference their anchor charts which i'm really happy about i'm leaving because i said i have my 32 week appointment so i'll update you guys then Okay, sorry guys for this terrible lighting, but I just got out of my 32 week appointment. Everything's looking good. Um, baby, belly, I guess. Belly measured 32 to 33, which is basically how she's progressing. I don't know if you guys are also like this. Last year I had so much time. It felt like to just have free time to get on my phone and stuff, but Literally, I don't even check Instagram or anything during the day. It's so crazy, which it's totally fine to me. Like, I honestly like having a break from social media. But if I ever post anything, just know it's either right in the morning or I do it during my lunch break and I don't even scroll. I literally just post something and then I'm done. I don't even scroll through. I just post it and then don't look at my phone until I get off. So it's kind of funny how last year I was just like, I felt like I had so much time like during the day, just free time in general, 
to um, check my phone, like check Snapchat and stuff, but literally I don't have during lunch, obviously I could check it, but I'm so in the moment. I'm with my team teachers. We all eat lunch together. We all just talk. And so I usually just don't even pull out my phone, but I don't know. I wonder if you guys are the same. Like, do you have time to even check your phone? Um, I just don't have the urge to really. I just get home and I veg out. I just lay on the couch if I don't have a workout right away. And then I just get on my phone then. But um, it's just kind of a nice break. Like, yes, I love social media. Yes, I like getting on it and scrolling, but um, I definitely don't need to during the day because I don't know it just like is another type of consumption that I don't want when I'm worried about other things if that makes sense I'm gonna go home relax now my feet hurt really bad so like I said earlier I'm gonna go home lay down maybe I'll take a bath tonight I'm really excited um, every time I'm done with an appointment I always have like just all this happiness that fills me so yeah Brandon got to come so I'm really happy about that and I'm gonna go now so you can stop looking at my blocked face. Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, this morning was a little strange because I woke up at like four and it could not go back to sleep. I think it's like pregnancy insomnia. I don't know. I feel fine right now. I've just been drinking my big old mug of coffee I still got to school at like 7 but I woke up and I was like no way it's only 4 o'clock I had to go to the bathroom and then I just could not fall asleep um, it's also really rainy this morning so we'll have indoor recess probably today um, I have split classes again because one of the teachers is gone still it's also a full moon today so Hoping for the best. A little outfit of the day before I get started. I'm wearing this free people blouse. It's super pretty. It's like a linen material. It's cozy and spacious. Leggings and my rain boots. I am living for these maternity leggings right now. Got them from Target. And honestly, I think these are going to be my lifesaver for... The next few weeks because they're so comfy they were 35 dollars which is kind of expensive for leggings but they're great they're like super super soft all right it is now plan time i feel like i haven't talked during plan time in so long but we're having a good morning so far so i'm really really happy about that um during my plan time right now i need to get some stuff ready for trunk or treat our trunk or treat is tomorrow right after school basically and our grade level team is doing scooby-doo themed i'm gonna be velma um, and then like there's Scooby, Daphne, all those people. Our plan is um, that my, since my car is blue, it's going to be the mystery machine car. So we're gonna put like orange flowers and then label it mystery machine. So I thought that was perfect. And then we're also gonna do a photo booth type thing. So I'm in charge of making like the front of the mystery machine out of um, paper. And then we're gonna put cardboard on the back to just support it. So once families come up to our trunk to get candy and all that stuff, we're just gonna have a little photo booth and they can take a picture with Scooby, which is one of my teammates. Um, so I need to make one of those. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use like bulletin board paper, get some letters, get some flowers on there and then put cardboard right behind it so that it can actually stay up. But I think I'm gonna try and trace it up on the smart board. You guys know if you're teachers too that just October is a crazy month because conferences are coming up we have grade reports to do like testing is just like needs to be done too so there's just like a lot of big things to think about and then we have like Halloween coming up so there's things that we can do can't do um, during the day things like that so that's why I'm just trying to take little things at a time I'm stressed because I still need to do maternity sub plans I need to text my maternity sub and just make sure she's still on board because I'm not like 100% sure. I think that's why I've just been a little bit like more flustered lately because I just know there's a bunch of stuff coming up and I just want to be prepared so I need to like start working maybe like more after school and just start working um, over the weekend to get things done. i 
of the day the gray shirt is from target it's like the basic shirt that they have it was like eight dollars and then my cardigan is also target it's literally a blanket it's so comfy has pockets big and leggings comfy shoes comfy socks I'm ready for all the comfort today and it's like perfect weather it's 60 degrees so it feels super cozy and wrapped up in my little cardigan today is also a trunk or treat so we have lots and lots of things to do but i'm so excited to show you guys what we come up with and just everything after school so i'll catch you guys later say hi lovers hi squishy Good boys, getting clean cages, yes. On deep cleaning days, I let them roam around the room. It is so funny. <laughs> Webby has a blast. They never leave the classroom, they just hang out. So when the school brings you a cinnamon roll, all is good in the world. Alrighty guys, here is the mystery machine. Super simple photo booth, with cardboard. Hopefully it stays up well, but that's all I'm gonna do for it right now. I think it looks pretty decent. Velma, pregnant Velma, of course. It's time to go, trunk or treat time. Happy Friday, good morning. Just got in and last night was so much fun. Like so much fun. Um, it was trunk or treat. I'll add some clips and some pictures here of last night. I'm so exhausted, but in such a good way. We saw so many families, so many kids came out, like a lot of kids came out, so batteries flashing because I left my camera here all week <laughs> it was so good so now I'm exhausted but I got some Starbucks and I'm so comfy casual today it's not even funny so should be a really chill Friday today it's flex Friday and some of the kids are taking some tests today and the guinea pigs are going crazy yeah I'm really excited that the weekend is coming up because we really need this weekend All right guys, I feel like I literally this whole week have not sat down to just talk to you guys, but I wanted to catch you up on things that we've been doing in fourth grade. By the way, I did change my headband because the other one was just not doing it for my head. So anyway, in writing, um, we are now writing our opinion essays on which text we like better, comparing a play and a text, and they have to give me reasons and details on why they like it. And then today we just did some peer editing. I love peer editing because they get to talk, they get to hang out, they also get to reread and just look at other people in the classroom and their stories and see what those are like. So love peer editing. It's one of my favorite things to do in the writing process. In reading, we're starting Government in Action, which is for benchmark. So we're gonna be doing that, but they are taking a unit two test today. And then um, in math, we are learning like lines of symmetry, classifying triangles. And so yesterday I just looked up like triangle sort or something, and then we play like a game together in the classroom. Um, and then today I'm going to give them a little worksheet for symmetry. Um, once again, I found this on superteacherworksheets.com for fourth grade. Love that website so far. There's only some free items, so it's not all of it. And then in science, we are just doing some plant internal and external structures. Eventually we'll get outside and get to do like experiments with leaves and plants and stuff like that. But, um, 
I don't know, it's just been hard to veer off of things whenever you're just trying to catch up and just make sure you're on track. That's why it's just been such a busy week with like all these events going on and just tests new things. It's just been a super busy week. I hope this vlog has been eventful and I'm sure it's a long one because I haven't edited one thing out of this whole week at all. I haven't even looked at anything. I'm sure it's gonna be super long but I just wanted to chat and say hey. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I feel good about today. I feel like Fridays are always just the best. I have Starbucks and <laughs> that's getting me through my day. And so um, for the friends I didn't get to go to trunk or treat last night, I told them that I would get a little goodie bag ready for them with just candy in it so that they didn't feel left out because I know like for a lot of things, I never got to go to after school programs or anything after school really because my parents always worked. So I wanted to make sure that those friends felt like special and thought of. Um, so I just have like a bag of candy that I'm gonna put together at the end of the day <laughs> so yeah and today is also crazy hair day that's what my students won for their reward i'm now on my phone because like i said my camera died today was an okay friday it was weird because i tried to make it like as chill as possible you know just have them more relaxed because yesterday was just a lot since trunk or treat and then it ended up being like crazy in other classes so i felt like i was trying to help out and be there for other classrooms and that just took up like, took up like all the energy I had left. So yeah, and I just got my flu shot. We get one at school, so got this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just end my vlog off since it's been a long one, I'm pretty sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that it was entertaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.